Dell and Fake Jake, the two failed musicians, basically they're just guitar heroes on YouTube, inserting themselves and leading a lot of people astray to the biblical flat earth truth. And definitely after this presentation is concluded, they're both done with flat earth. There's no denying the biblical flat earth. And it's hilarious to me. Something that can be proven not only in the real world through science, through simple observations, will basically debunk everything they say. Let's get right to it. You guys might wonder what I have on RB. Why do you use the broken, debunked AE map? If you go to suncalc.net, you can actually find out where the sun is going to rise and where the sun is going to set. And apparently in the southern hemisphere, such as Australia, they're seeing the sun rise from the southeast and set in the southwest. Even in South Africa, they're seeing the sun set in the southwest in South America, they're seeing the sun set in the southwest. Now, no matter where you drag the cursor around in the southern hemisphere, at this time of year, in October, the sun is setting to the southwest. That's a problem for the AE map because that's the opposite direction than the supposed circling sun. If people in the southern hemisphere are seeing the sun set to the southwest, that is in the entirely opposite direction than the supposed circling sun. And again, anybody that's been around YouTube watching Flat Earth presentations over the years, going back to 2015, 2016, and what you just heard there from Fake Jake was basically something he took from a Glober that did a presentation on YouTube back in 2015 attempting to debunk the Flat Earth model, a.k.a. the AE map. And again, just another example of him taking others' information and trying to present it as his own. Now, let's take a look here before I provide the undisputed biblical flat earth truth when it comes to the circling sun. Let's take a listen to Dell from Beyond the Magic Curve. Basically the same thing. Basically mocking the biblical flat earth truth and the circling sun, the circle map. Let's take a listen and making claims about things that are unproven, that they do not know about, domes, ice walls, circular maps, models, all this stuff. Now let's take a look here again at the biblical truth that not only is in the Bible, of course, it's going to be proven in the real world without a shadow of a doubt from Psalm 19.6. His going forth, this is regarding the sun, is from the end of the heaven and his circuit, of course, the circuit goes around unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof and that gets into all the models doesn't matter if it's globe or the flat earth model a lot of the ae map quote debunkers love to talk about light sunlight the sun and how it works above the flat earth and this is basically how it works where again as you can see obviously how the sun circles over the flat earth model and i showed this model many times in the past but the point being is as you see here there's the tropical region which is of course going through the equator in the two tropics so what you have here is subtropic mediterranean you have subtropic below and of course it gets very cold in the south and very cold in the north so obviously proves that the sun runs through the equator this is the hottest warmest region on the flat earth and here's just another map showing the cold zones the polar zones so definitely without a shadow of a doubt the sun runs through the center and this garbage nonsense from fake jake that again he took from somebody else again this doesn't work on flat earth or the globe obviously as you see it has to run through the center so this proves without a shadow of a doubt that we have a circling sun and of course as the sun circles it's basically cutting through where you have the outer 360 ice wall this is 100 percent biblical like i said and the major important factor is heat and that gets back to the biblical verse again nothing got high from the heat basically and this without a shot of a doubt basically destroys these two Again, these PlayStation guitar heroes 
that should stick to playing instruments and leave the flat earth truth to others that see it for what it is. And just for reference, again, the AE map where you see the equator circling around, you see the two tropics, and obviously the sun must remain within the two tropics as they circle above. So no doubt about it. Again, with the colder region in the center, obviously in, in Canada, in Northern Europe, in the outer 360 ice wall. So again, to debunk this nonsense that fake Jake is presenting, this is basically, he's done along with Dell. What are they going to say about this? This is undisputed. There's no debunking the flat earth truth with the circling sun as I just demonstrated. And again, one last time, a glimpse of the circling sun above the AE map, the AE model. First off, let's take a listen to hear what fake Jake has to say. Uh, complete utter nonsense for those that have been in flat earth for any amount of time. Let's take a listen to what he says here. Again, utter nonsense. You guys might wonder what I have on RB. A lot of you guys are new to Flat Earth or your memories just don't work well or you just missed it. RV Truth was not a Flat Earther in 2016. He wasn't a Flat Earther in 2017. It was 2018 when he finally attached himself to Flat Earth. And for anybody that's been around for any amount of time, again, when it comes to Flat Earth, this is absolutely hilarious. And it's not a good look when so-called truthers are telling lies. And this is one of many videos I made back in 2015, a re-upload by Flatzilla. This one, as you can see, November 4, 2015. So Fake Jake says 2018. I don't think so. And just for reference, this is the video I made back in July 2015. Or you see the title here, the Chicago skyline proves the flat earth. I'll just play a portion where basically the meteorologist in Indiana talks about the Chicago skyline and we're not supposed to see it, but due to the mirage effect, we're able to view the Chicago skyline over Lake Michigan. You would not be able to see this from the Lake Michigan shore. We talked about this last night. Conditions are right on the lake. Uh, we're actually seeing a mirage. And you understand one simple thing. The whole foundation of the ball of earth is a lie. So everything after is a lie as well. And they have to continue the lie. So you just heard it there. Again, just proving how fake Jake has to lie, manipulate his followers. There are nothing more than baby truthers. And putting out this info, obviously... And again, it's not a good look when so-called truthers are telling lies, claiming I didn't make Flat Earth videos until 2018. Obviously, anybody that watches Jake, fake Jake, will see that he's nothing but a liar. And I continue on to show the dimensions of the so-called ball Earth, and I break it all down. And more videos, just for reference, before I get back on topic. This one again, October 23rd, 2015 with the flat earth is the biblical truth and this one here that was re-uploaded re in 2016 this was actually uploaded originally by me in 2015 october 2015 as well and there's many more and we'll play this clip here and this is from the wayback machine from april 3rd 2016 this is a compilation of many videos i made from 2015 into 2016. let's take a quick listen to this one scene from Back to the Future. What do you see behind it? The flat Earth. That's the Flat Earth model. Like always, hidden in plain sight. And definitely Fake Jake is doing this on purpose. He's watched my videos for the longest time and the whole reason is trying to position himself higher up and obviously anybody that's been around long enough again will know he hasn't showed up until 2016. And he definitely implements the same tactics as David Wise, taking other people's material as his own. Take a look at this footage, and I'll break it all down. ...with many, many smaller parabolic maneuvers. Now, some of you may have seen a music video by a band called OK Go. The now, I'm going to stop right there, and let's take a look at the date here of this video. As you can see... 
This was uploaded September 14, 2021. Now let's take a look here. And this is a re-upload by the True Man, July 23rd, 2017, my four-hour documentary on Flat Earth. And let's take a look at what we see here. There are no wires or green screen. I'm going to mute the, the audio itself. It's not relevant to what is taking place, what needs to be explained. Let's play this clip here. Skip ahead a little bit. These band members, first thing they do is they throw up these laptops during the video and they basically float. Basically, zero gravity. You're going to see these band members start floating around. This video is continuous. It goes on for approximately a little bit over three minutes. This is all done again in a zero G plane. As you can see, Jake is using my evidence as his evidence. He also takes from Globers as well. And I'll get into that in a little bit to add to the confusion. And also taking my full live stream and playing it on his channel as his evidence. Absolutely ridiculous. Who does that? And again, it gets back to people like David Weiss, just like fake Jake, using other people's evidence as his. And that gets into Dell pushing this whole idea of basically how the flat earth moves up, accelerates up. And this is a very old concept from the Flat Earth Society. Now let's take a listen to what Dell has to say here. It's in the same realm as science, mainstream science, and NASA pushing the spinning of the ball earth with no evidence. He's pushing, no pun intended, the pushing or the upward movement of the Flat Earth. Let's take a listen to this. Unbelievable. Right. As soon as it comes into contact with it, as soon as it stops, it's no, the, the reference frame doesn't stop moving. The reference frame's constantly moving at 21 miles per hour. So now you're stuck to this reference frame as it moves uniformly. No accelerating, constant motion. Right? It's going to keep coming. Now what you have to achieve is force. You need to have constant acceleration in order to overcome it. Right? Because you can't just jump and hover. Because the reference frame's going to keep coming and hitting you. So you need to overcome that reference frame and utilize constant acceleration to maintain your trajectory off of it. So what about the sun, moon, and stars? Are they accelerating up along with the so-called pushing up of the flat earth? This is absolute nonsense and obviously unprovable and just pseudoscience what Dell is pushing here. Let's continue on. It's very, very simple. But, you know, as soon as, you know, the reference frame comes into contact with you, it stops. So that you can now float about here. No, 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 no. The reference frame will be constantly moving towards you. So, again, just more of the same here. But this is definitely pseudoscience. Not proven scientifically. Just made up abstract nonsense. And he actually shows this, which is absolutely hilarious. This man who appears to be a school teacher with this square frame. And just take a look at what is presented here. Absolutely hilarious that Dell would use this as a claim with Earth supposedly moving upward. Give me a break. Take a listen. Watching it in slow motion, we see the little person inside the elevator maintains the same position as both objects fall. Again, just two guitar heroes pushing pseudoscience Things that are absolutely ridiculous, as i shown. Trying to debunk God's created flat earth with the circling sun with this nonsense he took from somebody else. Again, dealt basically denying the biblical flat earth as well. And there's no denying the biblical flat earth as I presented in this video presentation. And definitely, if you can't pass this video along to other flat earthers, and hopefully people will get it as far as the biblical truth of the flat earth it's all in plain sight provable without a shadow of a doubt